Thank you, Russell. Straight away down the leg side. Leg wise. Not a right kind of start that uh, Dhaka Gladiators would have wanted to. It's off the mark, Smith. Oh, they're coming back for two. That was just more defensive push. Floor ball. Oh, gets away with it. Oh, <laughs> that surprised everyone, even himself. He literally swatted it. A little bit too wide and uh, too short. No problem uh, for the batsman, Dwayne Smith, to pick up his uh, first boundary. Or misunderstanding, and yes, he's going to have his man, Dwayne Smith. Ashraful, the fielder, he slipped. He doesn't realize that he's already been given out. Very unlucky. He just slipped in the middle. Uh, the heel just gives way and uh, an easy throw from Mohamed Ashrafoul and, uh, and Amulak uh, Bijoy doesn't do any mistake. It's a big wicket. Dwayne Smith gone for seven. Aminul Haq and ran two runs in six innings. Bangladesh's future. I'm pretty sure you will agree with me on that. Absolutely. He's been the fine. Oh, beautiful hands. Wonderful to watch. Aren't left-handers always. Pavilion, it's Paul Sterling who's missed that completely. Missed the slower delivery, tried to hit it out of the ground. And the ball going on to middle, hit the mill stump. First wicket in this uh, tournament and a very important one for the captain, Mashavi Murtaza. He sent the danger man back into the pavilion. Select 14 for 2. The skipper, Mushfiqur Rahim. And ran 33 runs at 44. And also a healthy strike rate. He's that type of player. He's not a 150 strike rate player. They will bat through and keep putting the pressure on you all the time. He's out there much earlier than he would have liked. That's when Sterling was run out. Oh, went the other way. They want to save the runs off the good balls. And if you want Ranja to play shots like that, you have to take chances. And if they don't come out, you lose your wicket. Gajan is uh, flicked that one up in the air, trying to go to look for a boundary. Only managing to fight that single fielder. Muhammad Ashraful takes it quite easily. Momin al goes back. There it is. Nabi. Oh gosh. That's uncalled for. But at least the competitiveness is on in true earnest. Oh God, he's got to go. I think he's got to go. They're just falling apart, Silhouette Royals. Yes, that was deployed by the captain, Mashavi Burtaza. They were just playing with the nerves of the set batsman, Nabi, who was in form as well. But he had to come back on his bat increase. And the damage was done. He was miles away. Yes, out is the decision. They are now coming down to the Smith Reigns. Sailhead Royals. Mohammed Abi departed. After only. Nazmul Hussain Milan. That's the new man in. Well, he's gone straight over the top. That's one way of uh, countering the situation. Just within 24 hours. And now. He's taken the charge. That's a good hit. mid was in the circle. He made room for himself. He's the dangerous cricketer, this Mushfiqur Rahim. The artisan of Silhead Royals down the track over the head of extra cover. Four runs. Good shot to be played. Midoff goes back. And he pulls that one for four. Huge yawning gap there at the right of square leg yes. he's played that into the gap there were two fielders in the deep but he bisected them to perfection yes there were yards to be added in that drafted shot he had a very clear idea of that gap that was there on the onside right between the backward square leg and mid wicket area superb cricket 
great use of the feet he's so quick very nimble footed got nine off the over 47 for four another left arm spinner oh he'll have to hurry this is going to be touch and go i think it may be go Mushfiqur Rahim just trying to play with the soft hands. He was off for a single, but Hussain was way out of the crease on the striker end. That was the danger area. He, but that is out, and yes, it had to be. Half of them are back into the hut and took off. Najmul Hussain. Oh, just away from the fielder, the keeper. Useful boundary. Quite unsure. Look at him going half cock at the and getting the top part of the bat just eluding the grasp of a normal hug there brave effort to no avail yeah the slow bounce as well that's why you see it looping it was a quick one it would have really traveled to the boundary for the belt very soon like that you happy that's gone for six i mean you've got to make a move on and chigumbura has struck at exactly the opportune moment Brilliant hit. We've seen him hit plenty of sixes in that area. That's his zone. That should be four. Well hit. Wasn't short, but he sat deep in his crease. How powerful is Chigumbura? To this. It's in the gap. That's four. Captain's making his move. It's that zone between mid on and mid wicket, and he'll more often than not go down the wicket. This one just a little bit down, but at times he'll dance down the wicket and put it away in that area. That's uh, pulled away. Very nicely indeed. Boundary. Bigger, what are your viewpoints? Well, obviously with, with international players here. And but on the offside this time, coming down the ground, but straight into the hands of Alfonso Thomas in the end he was just taking the kick completing that one Chingambara departs after just contributing 25 still had Royals in deep trouble now 96 for 6 gone beautifully ball it's the captain Mushiku Rahim who has to go back for a long period but this time he was down the ground way outside his crease and there comes the jubilation wicket number two in the same over for Sajib his second wicket of the innings as well and look at the celebration the jubilation Dhaka Gladiators once again into the group Mushfiqur Rahim departs after the resistance of 41 Salad Royals now seven down for 97 full toss put away will be a boundary bowling slower delivery the magic is conjured upon another one Alfonso Thomas was too late for this guy Ghazi was going for another big heave against the hope which was never there Alfonso Thomas second wicket Suhar Ghazi gone after five Salad Royals now eight down on 1-1-0 That's a good hit. That is a very, very good hit. That's gone all the way. Yes, indeed. Sulaiman Ben, the big Ben of the cricketers. And look at that hit. Clearly going for a six. Coming down from the stratosphere. It comes down the track. Played that quite nicely. Couple of bounces into the fence. It's gone through again. Just the four runs in the Doha. Dhaka Gladiators win by 31 runs. It's a convincing and a comfortable win. The Litwa is uh, chasing the total of 158. Ended up at 127 for 8. Mushfiqur Rahim. Only contribution of note. 41 of 37. 25 also from Chikambula. 30 but not good enough. A couple of boundaries uh, in the last over from uh, Solomon Ben, but in the end, only 127 what they managed to put on. Yes, Mushfiqur Rahim tried his level best, and that is reflected in all those partnerships he had with Momino Nabi, Hussain Milan, and Chegambara. But he was just important.
to stem the tide which was there by Dhaka Gladiators. We saw some good partnership later part of the innings but that was not good enough for Sailhead Royals. In the end, they got their first defeat of the tournament. Mashavi Bhutaza started off really well. His wickets column is not that great but parsimonious bowling figures great only at an economy rate of three and a half runs in an over. Alfonso Thomas got a couple of wickets. Sajib also chipping in in the end and that follow wickets was at regular intervals which was so good for Dhaka Gladiators so that they can complete their revenge as well and they can stem the sill head right as well. So Dhaka Gladiators had some blips in the beginning but they got their chances. Stevens, Anamul and Cobb all stepped up to the occasion like Gladiators. Mominol, Ben and Ghazi tried their level best but their economy rate was not that bad either. But that was so good for Dhaka Gladiators and Silhad Royals chasing 159 in the end but nowhere. Mushwik Rahim tried his level best but Chigambara and Ben were the only one who just supported them and all the big guns couldn't fight today. So all in all, Dhaka Gladiators have completed their revenge and they have won by 31 runs. Now we can see that at the points table, Sillet Royals are at the top, good to see their better net run rate but they had got their first defeat. Dhaka Gladiators are also almost there, they have played one game lesser than them.